And we found a massive raid here, 1.1 million of each on a Town Hall 14. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, Sturge here, and today we're going to be continuing the Town Hall 14 and Let's Play here on the channel. Right now we have two out of these six builds available with 20 million gold and elixir. So we're going to be spending all of this loot on some of these buildings here, and then we're going to go out and do a couple of raids inside the league that I have been using uh, up in my Town Hall 14. And I'll show you why Titan League is the best place to farm at if you are a Town Hall 14. And before we head on to the video, I just want to mention that if you go on to enjoy this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already to see more Tunnel 14 content just like this. Thank you all for watching. Let's head on to the upgrades. And starting off the episode here, we have 20 million gold and elixir, like I said in the beginning of the episode. We have two builders at the moment, but we have some more becoming available within just over two days. All those builder huts will be finishing at the exact same time. And we had one of them finish uh, about yesterday, I'm pretty sure, about three uh, two to three days ago, which is very, very good. We'll be getting those up to the next level here uh, within the next couple of episodes. So we'll get uh, the bomb towers going to uh, the next level here at level nine. We'll get the first one here, 14.8 million gold upgrade in a two week time there, 14 days and nine hours for the, uh, the upgrade time for this building here, which is very, very long. So let this run out for the entirety of these two weeks. And there we go, spending that there. We have some Dark Elixir, but I think we're gonna save that to uh, get the Unicorn up to level five. It's 192,000 Dark Elixir upgrade. And right now we have 136,000. But for now, we're gonna do one more upgrade before we head on to the attack, which is on the Warden here, getting up to level 52, six day time and a 14 million cost for elixir there. So we'll get that going down there. And we'll use a uh, builder potion there. And we'll also head in towards the leak shop and we'll buy two more uh, builder potions there just because we have CWL starting within the next few days here and I want to use him in my war attacks. Anyway, let's get in those two upgrades going. We have a bunch of attacks that I want to get going in today's video. We're using the hybrid attack strategy once again. This time is going to be a little bit different than usual because we, this is basically the first time in this series uh, that I've shown that we've had a hero upgrading while doing some farming attacks. We're using the hybrid without the warden inside of Titan 2. And the reason for being in Titan 2 is because of the uh, loot bonus. You get 300,000 of each for the max loot bonus and also 2,000 dark elixir. And every single raid here, as you see in my attack log, it's basically almost a million of each every single uh, raid, which means you're getting tons of profit, even though it is a kind of a high cost. It's about 320,000 elixir for this attack strategy. So we are still profiting almost a million if you include the loot bonus. You also get a high star bonus, but I did complete both of them. I have an attack in this account in uh, kind of a little bit, but I did a boost and we farmed about eight to 10 million within the hour, which is very, very good. So we're gonna do a couple of attacks using this attack strategy, and I'll come back once we find our first base. And we found our first base here at Tunnel 14 with 900,000 of each and almost 9,000 Dark Elixir as well. We're gonna go from the right side of the base here. I actually go from the left side. Uh, we'll take out the heroes and stuff. We'll eventually make our way up to the left side here. We'll drop a wall breaker and a baby dragon on the right side, eventually making our way over. And we'll drop the headhunters for that royal champ there, taking her out there, as well as the enemy king. And we'll eventually drop a great spell for the queen here to eventually take out the other heroes as well. We'll actually drop the great spell now, and we'll drop another wall breaker into the base there. And we're going to drop the king towards the top of the base here, and we'll eventually make our way in towards the... Uh, core the town hall here uh, we'll drop a poison spell on the queen because there isn't a clan castle and we'll also drop the miners on uh the top left of the base as well as the hogs dropping the royal champ on the top left here and we're also going to wall break in uh the king and stuff we're going to drop a heal and a rage freezing the scatter shot and the inferno tower there we're gonna have to drop another free spell for that other scatter shot and we'll also rage and drop the last free spell on the right side. They're taking down the town hall for that first star. Uh, we don't really have anything else on uh, the base in terms of hog riders. We'll drop one more heal in the core. We'll take out the eagle there, getting that second star. Very, very good. We have the road champs ability still up, and the clan castle hogs come out now. We're getting close to the three star, we're up to 61%. Uh, Royal Champ and the Queen still have their abilities, which is very, very good. We have to use the Royal Champ's ability here eventually. We're running low on defenses, which is very good. We'll use the Royal Champ's ability now, as there are only four defenses left, and there aren't any more defenses on the base, which means we'll get the three-star 
on this time of 14 for almost a million, over a million if you include the loop bonus here once we get this 3 star. We use the Queen's ability towards the bottom, getting that collector out of the way. We'll head over and take out the last little bit of the buildings to get the 3 star on this time of 14 for over a million gold and elixir and over 10,000 dark elixir there as well, up to 100 and 50,000 dark elixir. We'll head on to another attack. And we found another base here at tunnel 14 with almost a million elixir and almost 10,000 dark elixir. We're gonna go from the top of the base because, uh, actually we're gonna go from the bottom because of the heroes and the uh, last scatter shot because we have the eagle upgrading as well as the other scatter shot towards the top of the base. We're going to wall break in towards the bottom here and eventually the queen will make her way in towards the uh, heroes inside the base. All four of them are up, so we're going to have to use the headhunters here to eventually uh, take down those heroes there. We have 2 minutes and 20 seconds left in the raids. We're going to have to actually speed her up a little bit through these uh, heroes here. We're going to wait a little bit longer before we drop the headhunters. We'll wait until she takes down these uh, wizard towers. Then we'll drop the headhunters, heading in and taking out the heroes. Take out the queen there and eventually taking out the uh, enemy king there. We'll drop the king and the siege barrack on the right side. Dropping that wall breaker there, and the queen will actually use her ability and take down the enemy, uh, the king there, and probably eventually go down herself as well. Yeah, she will go down herself, and we'll drop the Myers on the right side with the hogs as well, heading in towards the base. We have the healers coming over, helping out with that hybrid there, heading in towards the base. We drop the heal for that multi inferno tower there. We have two of them. Drop uh, both freezes on there. Dropping a raid spell for. The hogs heading in towards the core of the base. We'll drop a heal for the hogs in the core with another raid spell. Drop a poison for the royal champ on the left side. Town hall should activate soon here, and we won't be able to get that down for that second star really, unless the royal champ will be able to go up and take out the uh, town hall on her own, and she will just go around to the outside of the base. We will get most of this loot though. Drop the archer on the left side, and this king should make his way all the way down to the bottom left of the base. We have some Myers on the bottom with a healer, which should take out that Dark Elixir drill and eventually uh, make their way down to that gold storage there. We're gonna wait out a little bit longer here. I'll speed up the attack and we'll come back once we uh, finish the raid here. And that miner will go down down there. And we have this Archer at the top here, which is the only thing left on the base. We're just gonna head out for this raid because it is only getting about 40 Dark Elixir per hit there. We still get almost a million of gold there, about 900,000, and over a million Elixir on that base there. Very, very good. Let's head on to the next one. And we found a massive raid here, 1.1 million of each on a Town Hall 14. We're gonna go from the bottom right of the base here on these uh, heroes down at the bottom. Uh, so we'll go from the bottom here on these builder huts because there are four of those battle builder huts and we'll take those out pretty easily there. Dropping a wall breaker to break into that compartment there and we'll eventually drop a uh, baby dragon on the left side there. The queen will eventually make her way in to the left side of the base here and she'll eventually make her way over to the enemy king here as well. Uh, we have a ton of loot on the outside, uh, so we should get most of this loot here. We're actually going to drop an archer on that uh, drill there. The queen will probably have to use her ability here. Uh, yeah, she will have to use her ability there. That's fine, though. Uh, we will drop the king and the siege barrack at the top right here. Uh, there isn't a clan castle in there, but that is perfectly fine. Drop a right spell for the queen because she doesn't have her ability anymore. Dropping the hogs and the royal champ heading in towards the base here. We have one Inferno Tower left on the base and we're going straight towards it with this big group of Hogs and Miners and we'll eventually heal them up once they make their way over to the uh, Inferno Tower and stuff here. We're actually going to freeze that since that really is only the uh, the only splash damage on the base besides the Town Hall which you will also freeze and heal through there. They probably will take down most of those Hogs and yeah there they go down onto the base there using the King's ability towards the top of the base. We'll use the poison on the enemy queen and we'll probably take her out pretty easily there. Very, very good. Heading down towards the bottom with the royal champ and the queen. The king will go down to, at the top of the base where we have a bunch of wizards at the top. They will take down some more of that loot. We almost took out all of the loot basically. We still have that drill at the bottom that the archer uh, was taken down a while back. But we get basically the three star in this one. We still have the royal champ's ability and we have uh, almost enough gold to upgrade 
the bomb tower have some more loot inside of the clank house so we'll use the road champs ability and we'll take down the rest of the buildings on the base the last one will be this drill towards the bottom of the base and we'll get this three star on this town hall 14 here for almost 1.5 million of each if you include the loot bonus which is a very very good we're heading down towards the bottom and we'll clean up this last dark elixir drill to get the three star on this town hall 14 very very good there now i think we have one uh, more attack to do before we can go and upgrade the bomb tower so head out for one more attack and we found the final base of the day here tunnel 14 with a million of gold and elixir which is a very very good we're gonna go from the bottom of the base here starting with the queen and the healers heading in towards the base dropping a wall breaker immediately and we'll also drop a big dragon at some point here we'll see which side she's gonna go from she's probably gonna go to the right side so we'll drop baby dragon on the left wall break in again over to that dark elixir storage and we're probably gonna drop a raid spell for her here to go in as fast as possible here we'll head in we've got two and a half minutes left in the attack and we're going to start the uh second part of this attack pretty soon here we'll drop the king on the right and the siege bearer can drop on a wall breaker there as well as dropping the headhunters for the enemy king there dropping the myers towards the bottom and then we'll also drop the uh, hogs going into the base with the road champ we're going to use the queen's ability taking down the enemy road champ there dropping a heal and a rage through this first scatter shot the town hall is down and upgrading which is very good so we're going to use the freeze on the other scatter shot on the left side of the base we have one more right spell that we'll use in the core to get the town hall out of the way we'll drop a poison and a freeze on the uh, queen over on the left side that other scatter shot will go down get the second star from the town hall very very good job with the archer at the top of the base we still have the queen and the Royal Champ still up, but the Queen will go down to that Inferno Tower because it is on single, and unless she takes it out on her own and she doesn't, that's fine because we have a bunch of stuff towards the top that will probably be able to take out the uh, rest of the base here. We're gonna use the Royal Champ's ability and the enemy Queen goes down there, very, very good. The Royal Champ will probably come over and take out the uh, Inferno Tower because the Inferno Tower is locked on to the healers instead of the Royal Champ. So the Royal Champ will come over and take out the Inferno Tower to get the three star, final three star of the day here. Very, very good. And we have four bows available once we head back to the base after we get this three star. And we still have uh, 14 million on the base and 14 million elixir and 190,000 dark elixir at the end of today's video, which is very, very good. We still have four builders. So we're going to go out and do a couple of uh, attacks one or two attacks off camera and we'll get more loot because we only have enough gold at the moment to upgrade one thing which is this bomb tower here I want to get some traps going to get them uh, to the same level as the other ones up top because I have been kind of neglecting them a little bit here but we're gonna actually do the last two upgrades that we we're gonna do for today's episode which is upgrading the unicorn I think I said I was gonna upgrade the lassie we're going to upgrade the unicorn because we have enough dark elixir now we have 192 over 192,000 dark elixir on the base it's a four day time there we'll get this unicorn the first pet going up to level five and there we go very very good in about four days that unicorn will be at level five we're going to get the bomb tower for basically the final big upgrade of the day and i'll be upgrading the uh other traps off the camera here to get the last little bit of the builders going but we're gonna get this bomb tower up to level 9 14.8 million gold upgrade in a two week time just like the other one that we upgraded towards the beginning of the episode we'll get that going down there very very good we're at 200,000 on the base and we can't really upgrade anything else uh, in terms of goals so we're gonna go do a couple of attacks off camera and we'll get the other traps or the yeah, we'll get the other traps going and the other three builders going as well. And with us getting all of the upgrades we wanted to do today, and also showing you the best league to format at Town Hall 14, which is Titan League, as you saw in the attacks in today's video. Titan League is probably the best place to farm if you are using an actual army, like the hybrid that I used in today's video. But well, that's gonna do it for today's video. Hopefully you enjoyed it, and if you did, and you wanna see some more Town Hall 14 content just like this, make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.